Hey guys, it's your girl in it, and today we're going to talk about a battle of the boxes. So I used to have Ipsy, I got rid of it, and I am back. So I want to see the Ipsy base bag against the BoxyCharm base box. So if you guys want to see what I got, how it all looked on my face, what I think about it, then stick with me because we're going to get right into it. Okay guys, so let's get right into it. The facts, let me check my little phone here. The Ipsy Glam Bag, which is their base, is $13 a month, and it's five deluxe size products. There also are some full size products, it just kind of depends. The Boxy Base Box, that has five full size products. So with the Ipsy one, you know you're going to get deluxe size products, and then there may be one or two full size products. It really depends. But with BoxyCharm, you know you're going to get five full size products right off the bat. So if you just look like at that little bit right there, it kind of seems like BoxyCharm would win because you're going to be getting full size products instead of deluxe size products, and then maybe one or two full size products. So for me, Boxy is already in the lead with that little tidbit. This is what the Ipsy, I'm gonna call it a base box. This is what the Ipsy base box looks like. It comes in this bag, it says Ipsy. It's cute, it's pink, it does what it does. When you open it up on the inside, it comes with both a card for you to have, kind of just like BoxyCharm, but it also comes in a little bag. And they've been doing this for years. I mean, since I had them years and years ago, they have been doing the bags. So I can say I like the bag. I think it's nice, but do I keep the bags? No, I don't. Now, you also have to remember that Ipsy and BoxyCharm are now one. Ipsy took over BoxyCharm in a merger, acquisition, whatever you would like to call it. But they're trying to keep the products and everything very separate so you're not getting a lot of overlap. So we'll kind of check that out as we get more into it. Now, the BoxyCharm box is massive. It comes like this. It's a huge box, and it has all the products inside of it. So when you open up the box for BoxyCharm, what you're going to be getting is something a little bit different. So I want to make sure it doesn't kill the camera. You're going to get a card, the same way you did with Ipsy. And then you're going to get your items inside the box. So let's go ahead and let's start with a BoxyCharm. So BoxyCharm, what I like about them is I like that on their card, not only do they have the items that you're going to get, but they have the amounts. That is something that when you compare to Ipsy, they don't have. So Ipsy has a card that has your items on there, but it does not give you the amounts. What it gives you is whether they're a deluxe sample size, a full size, and what the amount of them is, but the only thing that really works for it is the full size. Everything else, like the deluxe sample size, it says $8.99 um, for the full version. That means I would have to do all kinds of mathematics to figure out what it is for the actual sample size or deluxe size. And your, your girl doesn't have that type of capacity to be doing math. So for that, again, BoxyCharm, I think, wins. So let's get into the old BoxyCharm. So the first thing we have from BoxyCharm is the Glow on 5th Refresh and Reset Brightening Mud Mask. Now, I did not use this, of course, because I had already had my face finished, so there was no need for me to go ahead and use this. I didn't even open it, but I do like that it comes in a plastic wrap. And this says, Dull, Uneven Skin has finally met its match. Brighten your skin's natural radiance by using the Ginger Mud Mask infused with ginger root and terrine to re-energize skin and minimize fatigue, boost circulation, and help with rehydration. Use one to three times a week and enjoy the gift of instantly radiant skin. And this is for 30 bucks. And it does now tell us that this is a new launch. This is a new product. So I definitely, definitely will be using this because it sounds like this is a fantastic product. So I'm definitely going to keep that in my repertoire. The next thing that we have is the Tristique Foundation Stick. Now, I've had a lot of Tristique products in the past. They look weird because they look like lipsticks, but I have never used their foundation. And that's what this looks like. This is a, this is a buildable foundation that helps to protect against the harmful effects of blue light. The weightless cream-based formula glides in effortlessly for a medium finish. This property carrot complex protects against the effects of blue light while hyaluronic acid and... <laughs> Vitus Vita, <laughs> what the world are they doing here? The Vitus Vita activates 
work to promote youthful appearance. <clears throat> the built-in sponge applies foundation seamlessly. The foundation case is recyclable <coughs> and refillable. I don't know if that was my BS meter going off. Or what, but I had to get me a little, a little taste of the matcha. Because <coughs> I feel like with that, something in me was saying that was BS. What I can say is that what I have here, and I didn't think this was going to be my color. This is Waikiki Tan. And this is, again, a medium coverage, natural, radiant finish for tan skins with warm undertones. What I can say is when boxes give you... Complexion products, it can get a little scary because it's like, oh, man, is this going to be for me? When I looked at this, wasn't quite sure. Your girl hasn't seen sun in a while. So I was like, okay. Again, see the lipstick that the L was looks like? This was the color. And let me show you on my hand. So I was I was a little afraid. It looked like it was going to be a little orangish on me. I was like, oh, man, this seems kind of nice. This can be a little orangish. Mind you... This has a decent amount of product, I think. I know some people complain that it was too small. But I think it has a decent amount of product for it, and it's refillable. So I think that this is nice because most of us have a lot of foundations. And so this isn't going to last a ton of time. When you open up the bottom half of the stick, this is where you get the sponge. I used the sponge for about half a second, and then I went with my regular brushes because I did not care for this. So when you look at this on my hand, and you use the sponge, I found that it looked like it absorbed it rather than actually moving it into my skin. And when you look at your skin, I can tell it's there, but to me it just looks like it absorbed it. But honestly, this is the color of it. Again, the Waikiki tan didn't look like it was going to suit me, but it actually did. I have it on today. It blended out nicely. I really, really like the freaking product. So I'm really, I'm actually shooketh by that product um, and the fact that I like it. $30, I think, is pretty much the way all foundations are, but I really like it. It was very quick to put on. I use my brush super easy to put in, seamless, and it doesn't, even on my hand, it doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel like it needs to dry down. I didn't powder it with anything. I just went with it, and I really, really liked it. So that was a win for that one. The next thing that we have is the... Uh, Sur Surfany Botanicals Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette. So that was this right here. And I actually really do love this packaging. This says combining hydration, health, and hue in one easy-to-use buttery palette infused with luscious plants, oils, and waxes for your lips and cheeks. The three creamy formulations are made with gold of pleasure oil as well as nourishing shea butter that melts into your skin and enables you to achieve seamless, long-lasting color powered by evening primrose, cowslip primrose, and cabbage rose extract to help luminize and condition your complexion. This is $42. I feel like what this box is trying to do with BoxyCharm is do a lot of natural products and a lot of products that use things like botanicals and good oils. Like I said, this is the box. I was, I'm not going to lie, I was skeptical. I figured that this was going to go in a pile that I would like give my sister, but... I love how thin this is. This is very travel friendly. I love how easy it was for me to open it up. It has a full mirror, if that's something that you're looking for. I don't want to bond you guys, but that's something that you're looking for. It's there. And then it has these three colors. And I have to tell you, they're very, very creamy and emollient. This is what they look like. Let me go ahead and put them on my hand for you. And they really do have some nice color payoff. So you have like a little bit deeper, a little bit lighter, and then almost kind of like a brownie, uh, tanny, movie color. It was really nice. I can tell you that I use this for my lips. I use it for my cheeks. Um, and I use it for my eyes. So on my cheeks, I use this color right here. This kind of brownie, mauve color. And then I topped it with this brighter color. And I really like it. I think it gives you just a natural type look. So if you're looking for like a natural flush, like you're just headed out to the mailbox or, I don't know, to the store, this is perfect. For my lips, I use this center color right here. I put that down just as a nice base. It was perfect. I, then I even put this on my eyes. So for my eyes, I went in with this 
kind of movie color first, kind of for a crease color. I took this deeper color, put it in the outer edge and pulled it a little in. And then I used this color to kind of finish everything off. And I have to say, but for the fact that they do slightly crease a little bit because they are, they're emollient and it's supposed to be like a cheek and lip palette, but I decided to use it for my eyes. I just take a little brush like this, done. And so I think it gives you, again, a nice flush on your skin. Not too much, not too heavy. I really like this, and I was really surprised by this. Because um, I did not think that that would be for me. I just, I just really didn't. The next thing that we have is the Trust Fund Beauty, which I have heard of before. I've had some of the products in BoxyCharm before, and I don't know if I was really impressed with them. But this is the Better Than Therapy Lip Oil. It says, it's rough out there, but the lips don't need to be. Take a minute for some extra self, extra <laughs> sexy self-care with better than lip infused oils. Infused with therapeutic vitamin E to give you your pout some TLC. It's both a lip treatment and a deliciously clear gloss. Gloss Use alone or as a perfect topper for lipsticks and liners when you want the ultra juicy look. And it's $18. And that's exactly what I did. Once I used that, uh, that 3-in-1 palette for my lips... What I did was I used another lip product, which we'll get into, but I went over it with this. This is a very, very nice oil. I have used this on my own when I just wanted to see what it was like. It has the slightest bit of gold reflect in it, but it's just such a nice wand. Kind of smells like vanilla and coffee to me. This is just a very, 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 very nice uh, lip gloss. I could just tap it on. Put it around, but I think that if you get this, this, you'll really enjoy this lip gloss. It's very nice. It can go any over any lipstick or it can go on its own. It's perfect. Now, let's get to our Ipsy, shall we? So Ipsy, the first thing that we have here is we have this Cake Beauty Heavy Cream Intensive Body Balm. I use this for my face moisturizer because I wanted to use everything from the two boxes it says this sweet smelling lotion melts into your skin like butter it soothes smooths and hydrates with aloe vera coconut oil shea butter and green tea extract this smells yummy without being overpowering kiss dry winter skin goodbye tip massage it from the neck down for soft hydrated baby skin this is a deluxe sample size which i think is a good size if you're going to travel which is what i'm going to use it for but it says the msrp for the full size is $8.99 so if the full size is $8.99 and it's the full size is 200 milliliters, it doesn't say what this is. It just says one ounce or 30 grams. I think this is a good size. So I would say this is probably three bucks. This was very nice. This was thick. Like you can see me squeezing, 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 squeezing. And then here comes some. This is a very, very thick cream to squeeze out it's not quite so thick once you put it on your hands but it's one of those ones that you're gonna have to put a little bit on to kind of like work it through because it pretty much sits where it's at dries and absorbs so I did like it but you really do have to work with it again your girl doesn't know the prices I can't be breaking down deluxe prices guys maybe you can but I I just don't I don't have that kind of patience Next thing that we got is a tried and true. I have tons of these. I've been through tons of these and I love it. And it is the Origins Check and Balance Frothy Wash. It says, whether your complexion is dry, oily, or somewhere in between, this gentle cleanser will be a welcome addition to your routine. It uses kelp extract, wheat proteins, and tumuline to help purify and balance skin, plus mint essential oil to energize and refresh. Tip, massage a small amount into the damp skin to create a lather. Rinse with warm water. This is a deluxe sample size, and the MSRP of the full version of the product, which would be 150 milliliters, is $25. Love, 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 less. I, I, this is a great, great, great uh, facial cleanser, and you really do need just a little bit. And I love, honestly, that this is a deluxe sample size because I'm going to be putting this right in my travel kit for my travels, so that way I'll have to bring something big, so it really will save me a lot of space. So, Although you're getting more deluxe sizes in the Ipsy bag versus the BoxyCharm, for me, for somebody who's getting ready to travel, this is perfect because the products that I love, products I enjoy, names that I know, 
And there are things that I can take with me that are going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezies. I don't have to figure out how to take the big bottle and squeeze it into a smaller bottle. I can just take this, be one and done with it. This is also good if you're doing a project pans. This can really give you that setup and that go that you need to be able to finish your product and then take something bigger on later. The next thing we have, I was actually very, very surprised. When I was like, oh, maybe they did read my profile. So this is Twisted Sista, a three-minute moisturizing mask. It says, are your curls in need of a reboot? This fast-acting restorative mask will give your dry-looking hair life in no time. It's formulated with protein, vitamins, and five types of essentials to deep-condition hair, boost moisturizer, and reduce frizz when styling. Tip, apply after washing hair, leave on for three minutes, and then rinse. This is a deluxe sample size, but the MSRP of the full-size version of this product, which is 354 milliliters, is $9. And that is this right here, and your girl has naturally curly hair. If you've seen any of my videos, the curly hair has come quite a long way because we were working with a full Diana, and let me tell you, it gets temperamental with certain products. So I was really surprised that they put this product in there. I was like, are y'all really reading profiles out here? So I am two snaps for Ipsy. I'm very excited again. This is something that I can take traveling with me, so I'm very, very excited about this. I'm also excited that it seems like if you buy the full product of these things, they're not expensive, like the full product of the body cream, $8.99, the full product of the face wash, $25, the full product of this, $9. So it seems like they are more affordable, and that is something that I really like. That if you say, hey, oh my gosh, I really like such and such product, I, I really love this. Okay, so you can go buy the full version for $8.99. Yeah, I feel like that it's more affordable for people to try the items and if they fall in love with them to be able to go out and purchase them and they're not 64 74 84 dollars so i really really did like that the next thing we had which i was so sad that this was a sample this is the pure four in one sculpting concealer in the color tg6 it says finally concealer that works its magic both instantly and over time the lightweight formula helps hide everything from breakouts to dark circles without looking thick or cakey Plus, it's infused with a retinol and antioxidant to help improve your skin tone and texture with continued use. Tip, apply wherever you want coverage, then blend with the fingers or concealer brush. I blend with my fingers. It's a deluxe sample size. The MSRP of the full, full version of the product is 0.13 ounces and it's $22. This is a super small sample size. I mean, super small. And I absolutely love it. This was my perfect color. I just... I used it and I was like, bitch. I don't even check for pure like that. Oh, look, I'm shaking y'all because I'm like, I don't even check for pure like that. And I'm checking for pure like that. So let me go ahead and give you guys just a little. I, mean, I don't have a lot to spare y'all. I'm going to have to go. Hmm. Do have something to wipe my hands off with because I do have these lipsticks right here. So let me go ahead and show you guys just a, just a smidge oh man oh it's so little there's just a smidge of it and it feels just so good guys that's the color now let me watch me watch me blend it in watch it work and it feels so good while it's blending in and like i said i don't check for pure but i'm about 2.2 seconds to go on the website and buy and buy this because i think it's just amazing like, like honestly look at that like, if they had this color in a foundation, I would buy it in the foundation, too, because this was perfect. This was absolutely perfect when I put it on. <gasps> Where's the lid? Where did I put it? Here it is. It was perfect. I'm very, 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 very impressed um, with this, and I definitely, definitely would not be against buying a full size of that. The last thing we have was another lip product, and this was the... Sophia and Mabel lipstick, uh, lip slit tinted lip oil and jellyfish. This hydrating lip oil leaves your lips feeling kissable all day long. The conditioning formula stops dryness and chapping and gives your pout a plump and juicy look finished thanks to a glossy tint. Tip, wear it alone or wear it layered over your favorite lipstick or overnight moisturizing treatment. The full size is MSRP. So this is a full size product and this is 20 bucks. So, this is your full size. I actually really did like this. This didn't have a real distinctive smell. It kind of just smells like it. And I did put some 
right over the lip color. I thought it went perfectly. So I'm not I'm not mad at this either. I'm just not mad at it. So what can we say here? We had four deluxe size products from Ipsy, and then we had the one full size product, which was the lipstick. Now in Boxy Charm, you know, we were working with full size products everywhere, and I actually think I even forgot a product. I think I forgot the Mr. Greengrass Cardamom Lavender Foaming Body Scrub, which is a sexy, rich, and luxe body scrub. Uh, that has the softest woody notes blended with cardamom, coffee, lavender, and bergamot to envelop senses in a fine cashmere wrap. A revitalizing two-in-one lightly foaming gel-based scrub that exfoliates, cleanses, and hydrates your skin, leaving it softer and brighter. And this is $24. That's this. I totally forgot all about that. This smells so good. I did open it to smell it. Mmm, this smells so good. This smells like definitely something I'll be using. It almost smells like a man but on the softer side, so it's not so strong and pungent. And you can see that it has these little things inside it um, because it is a scrub. So you do have that too. So that's kind of the thing is that you're getting these full-size products from BoxyCharm and you're getting from their base box and from Ipsy you're getting deluxe samples. And then if you're lucky, you're getting the one full-size sample. I would have to say... That out of boxy charm, if I'm really being honest with myself and say things immediately that I'm going to use, it would be the concealer, it would be the face wash, it would be the lip gloss, and it would absolutely be the hair. I think that although I love this, if, if we're talking about immediately what I would use, this would be secondary. If we're talking about the boxy charm, definitely it would be the foundation. Definitely, it would be the uh, Trust Fund lip gloss that we had. Um, okay, if we're just going with definite, this would be these two. Um, I keep shaking, you guys. I'm getting a little too rowdy with it. Because would I use the palette? Absolutely, I would use the palette. But we're talking about must-haves. Like, if I had to choose and then had to use constantly, it would be these things. So, if we look at that, I have two deluxe size products from I'm sorry three deluxe size products from Ipsy one full size product that I would use and I only have two full size products from BoxyCharm that absolutely positively out of the box I would use so for me although BoxyCharm has full size products and Ipsy has deluxe sample size products and then you possibly can get a full size product I think when we're talking about usage clearly I would only use two of the five products that were inside the BoxyCharm Whereas in the Ipsy, I would use four of the five products that were inside it. So for me, I think that regardless of price, regardless of if you're getting sample or full size, Ipsy would win for me because out of the box, there are more products that I would use right away and be likely to purchase full size products of versus the BoxyCharm. That's just kind of how things are going with that. So... I thought this was kind of neat because I thought immediately because they're deluxe sample sizes that would I would be like boxy charms the winner no doubt but it's not about the products that you get as far as why do I have the sticker on my finger <laughs> as far as the price of the products or the size of the products it's about would you use them I think that's where it really comes in it is that if you have six products that are full size and they're expensive but they're not really things you would use then it's kind of like, you know, they're, they're not really of use to you. But if you're getting smaller sizes, but you would actually use those things, then to me, you're getting more of a benefit from it. So I think if I had to do these two head to head, which head to head, which you just did in this video, I would have to go with the <sighs> Ipsy bag this month and not the BoxyCharm bag. I would do Ipsy is what I, I think is the winner. BoxyCharm came close, but no cigar. They were not the winner this month. So what do you guys think? BoxyCharm or Ipsy? Which one would you have chosen? How do you feel about deluxe sizes versus full sizes? How do you feel about 13 bucks versus the $25? Let me know kind of down below. I know that there's some price changes of things happening here and there and whatnot. But right now, this is currently what I paid for the two. And I just, I got them... Girl, it's like 9 o'clock at night, something like that. I just had, I, what was, I honestly was getting ready to go to bed. And I said, you know what, let me just, let me just do a little thing and, and see what we can, can do, what we can come up with. So, 
Let me know what you guys think, what products you like, which boxes and bags you got, what kind of products you got, and let's have a little chat about it. So guys, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. If you enjoy this video, give me two very enthusiastic thumbs up, not one, but two. And if you have not already, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of all my new videos. If you're not already, follow me on uh, Instagram, at London Brielle. I'm also on TikTok. It's official underscore London Brielle if you want to follow me over there. <clears throat> and like I said, I just started getting Ipsy, so I think I'm going to try to do these battles with the Ipsy and Boxy Charms when I can because I really am interested to see that now, especially at their one company, do we have any overlap in product? Because um, really now they're competing for brands and products. So are we going to start seeing better brands, better things? Because they're really trying to compete with each other, even though they're now underneath the same umbrella because they're essentially cousins. Um, now, so I'm very interested to see what's going to happen going forward. So I just want to share that with you guys. So again, let's talk down in the comment section below. I absolutely love talking to you guys. And guys, until next time, I love you. I miss you. And I will see you on the flip side. I love you guys. Bye.